In this video, we will discuss what buffers are and how to solve problems using math that deal with buffers. So a buffer is going to be a solution that contains an acid and its conjugate base, and a good buffer will be a weak acid and its conjugate base. And the buffer is gonna have large concentrations of that weak acid and of its uh, conjugate base. So for example, we could have HF and uh, NaF, and that is its salt, but the conjugate base is F minus. And what a buffer does is it resists changes in pH. That doesn't mean that it won't change pH, but uh, as long as you don't add too much acid or base to a buffered solution, that the pH will only change slightly. We have a couple equations that are used for buffers and we'll get to those, but let's first talk about how buffers work. So let's say I have a solution in equilibrium and to make it a buffered solution I need to have a lot of the acid, so I'm going to call that one molar. Then I need to have a lot of the conjugate base and so I'll also call that one molar. And then I don't know what the H plus concentration is, but let's just say it's 0.2 molar. If I add H+, plus, according to Le Chatelier's principle, that will cause the reaction to shift left. And um, when that shifts left, the added H+, plus ends up reacting, and so it doesn't stick around. The added H+, plus reacts with all these F-1 ions that are around, and it shifts left. Uh, so what that means is all of the extra added H plus react with excess fluoride ions, so there is no net gain or loss of H plus. And because there's no net gain or loss of H+, plus, if I think of pH equals negative log H+, plus, if this guy stays the same, then the pH will also stay the same. Okay. Now, how does this work if we add hydroxide? Well, if we add hydroxide, the hydroxide, uh, which is basic, will react with the H+, plus and that'll give us HOH. So initially the H plus decreases, but there is plenty of HF around because we have plenty of the acid around that'll dissociate and essentially replace all of the lost and so again pH is equal to negative log H plus we initially lose some H plus because it reacts with hydroxide but then HF comes and reacts some more to give us whatever we lost in H plus and so because the H plus doesn't really change overall, the pH won't change overall. And that's generally how a buffer will work. So let's look at number one here. We have a solution of benzoic acid. Um, it's got a Ka of 6.52 times 10 to the minus five. And we give, we have 1.37 molar of potassium benzoate. And that is gonna be the conjugate base. We need to calculate the solution of this using a rice table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say HC7H5O2, uh, that'll be aqueous, reacts with HOH, and that'll give us benzoate, or potassium benzoate, if we have the potassium in this reaction. Um, we just care about the conjugate base, plus hydronium, and then we can make a rice table. The initial concentration of benzoic acid is 2.55 molar. Water is, of course, just 
nothing because pure liquids do not affect your equilibrium concentration. Um, benzoate is 1.37 molar and then hydronium is zero so we have got to shift right and so what I can do is write a Ka expression and because they just want the pH it's all that's wanted here if I can get X I just take the negative log of that and that will be the pH Okay, so this is going to equal 1.37 plus x times x divided by 2.55 minus x. That all will equal the Ka, which is 6.52 times 10 to the minus 5. I can use the 5% rule to get rid of plus x and minus x, and so I'm going to do that. Okay, so now what we have is 1.37 times x divided by 2.55, and that equals 6.52 times 10 to the minus 5. And if I do a little bit of math here, I will get x to be 1.21 times 10 to the minus 4. pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H plus 1. So pH equals negative log... 1.21 times 10 to the minus 4. When I take the negative log of this, I expect it to be a little bit less than 4 because the exponent was 4. And in fact, I get 3.92. Okay, so this is essentially just a common ion question right now. But what we have is if we can recognize something as a common ion question, there's this equation that makes all of this work a little bit easier. What that equation is, is it's on your formula sheet and it's referred to as the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. And what it says is that the pH equals the pKa, which remember, pKa is just negative log of the Ka. Um, the log of your conjugate base concentration divided by your acid concentration. Okay, so what we're going to do in example two is the same exact thing, except I'm just going to use, it's the same problem, except I'm just going to use the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. Okay, that is used commonly in biochemistry, and it's just the equation for buffers. And what this does is it takes the same math from a rice table, and it just converts it into a formula to make life slightly easier here, Okay. And so pH equals pKa plus log, the conjugate base, which is benzoate here, divided by the acid, which is benzoic acid. And all we're going to do is plug in what we know. We are trying to solve for pH. They do not give me the pKa, but they do give me the Ka. And so what I can do is just call that a negative log of the Ka. So negative log 6.52 times 10 to the minus 5 plus log of the conjugate base, which is 1.37 molar divided by 2.55 molar for the acid. Go ahead, plug that into your calculator. And you actually get the same exact answer as what we got before okay just proving that this equation actually does work okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do another example with benzoic acid that's going to be number four and uh i've made a note right small because this one has three parts and so we just want to make sure we have enough room to write and in part a we're given that the uh, dissociation of benzoic acid is 3.29%, and we need to determine Ka. Well, let's write a reaction first, HC7H5O2 plus HOH. That will form C7H5O2 with minus 1 charge plus 
hydronium, and I can set up a rice table. We have 0 0.85 molar for benzoic acid. Of course, water is just an X. Uh, benzoate, they don't give us anything on that, or hydronium, so this will be minus X, plus X, and plus X. And so, I want Ka. Well, Ka is C7H5O2 minus 1. H3O plus 1, and that's, oops, HC7H5O2. That's going to be equal to x squared divided by 0 0.85 minus x. Normally, we're solving for x, but here we need to solve for Ka, and since we're solving for Ka, there must be a hint given in the problem about how to find x. And that hint is that of the 0.85 molar solution, only 3.29% dissociates. So I'm going to do a little bit of math up here. 3.29% is 0 0.0329 as a decimal. And if I multiply that by 0.85, what I end up getting is that 0 0.027965 molar actually dissociates. So this is x. I'm going to take this number and I'm going to plug it in for x. Some people will end up doing a 5% rule here with this x, but I would argue we know what x is, so there's no need to do the 5% rule there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get rid of these x's. And I'm going to plug in what I know for x now. And with that, I've got to make sure I square my numerator. And when I plug in all of this, I get Ka is 9.51 times 10 to the minus 4. So that is my answer for A. Okay, B. It says to calculate the pH of a solution formed by dissolving 0.067 moles of sodium benzoate. Well, we've got... Um, this reaction, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'll erase some of the numbers. This will be for part B. I'm going to move down. Okay, and actually I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so what I know is that I started out with 0.85. Molar, but now I've added a common ion, and what that common ion is is 0 0.067 moles of benzoate, which is um, C7H5O2 with minus one charge. But remember, for ice boxes or rice tables, you got to plug in um, molarities, and so we have a 250 milliliter solution, so that's 0 0.25 uh, liters. And so the math tells me that this is 0 0.268 molar. So I'm gonna plug in 0 0.268 molar. This will be zero. This will be then minus x plus x plus x, 0.85. Minus x, 0 0.268 plus x, and x. And I can plug that all into Ka and solve for x. However, it's a common ion question. I would not do that. What I would do is I would just use the Henderson Hasselbach equation. Okay, either will work, but the Henderson Hasselbach equation will be a little bit easier. pH equals pKa plus log of your conjugate base, which is benzoate. And this formula is on your formula sheet. 
divided by the acid, which is HC7H5O2. And um, I can plug in what I know, this guy and this guy, 0 0.268, 0 0.85. pKa is a negative log of the Ka, so I'm gonna type negative log. We just saw for Ka it was 9.51 times 10 to the minus four. And I'm gonna make some room for all of this. Okay, and when I solve for the pH, I will get the same answer as I would have gotten if I had a rice table, and I get 2.52 as a pH. Okay, so that is how you solve part B. You could use a rice table, but if you recognize something as a common ion problem, I would use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Okay, so now what we have is we take our buffered solution now because there's a common ion and we add 5.33 grams of HCl um, and now I want to determine the pH of the resulting solution so a couple ways to do that is first we need to get the molarity of HCl we add 5.33 grams the problem has told us that the molar mass of HCl is 36.46 grams of HCl for every one mole of HCl. And so when I do that math, I get 0 0.146 grams, or not grams, but moles of HCl. And I'm going to divide it by 0 0.25 liters to turn it into a molarity and that gives me 0 0.585 molar of HCl. Now, here's what's kind of tricky on this one, is we want to see how our reaction changes with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move down here, and I've got my reaction. The only problem is my initial is slightly different because HCl is a strong acid, which means the concentration of H plus or hydronium is now 0 0.585 molar. And strong acids, they will react. And if I look at these guys with their molar ratios between the conjugate base and the acid, this uh, or not the acid, but the H+, plus. this H+, plus is going to react with any and all conjugate base. So what that means is all of this 0.268 molar is going to react. So this is going to be minus 0.268 molar, minus 0 0.268 molar, and plus 0 0.268 molar. When I math this out, I get 1.118 molar. I get about zero molar. Okay, we won't actually get zero because that equilibrium will have some of everything, but it'll be pretty darn close to zero. And then we'll get 0 0.317 molar of H plus left over. To get the pH, the pH is just the negative log of H plus. That's 0 0.317. So when I take the pH, or the negative log of that, I get 0 0.499. That's very low, but we added a whole bunch of HCl. So part C is kind of a tricky question here.